Disney Queen Skelly here. Okay, so I want to start out this whole thing by saying I hope you guys are okay and that you're doing okay and that everyone is okay. I know this whole thing is scary, very, very scary. Um, whether, you know, you are taking the extreme measures or you're just kind of taking it day by day, seeing what happens, whatever you guys are doing, I hope you guys are okay. Uh, you know, my work is shut down for now, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, it gives me time to stay home, work on other projects, and, you know, spend time with, with my hubby, who's here next to me. He just has headphones on. He doesn't want to be in the video. <laughs> um, I really hope you guys are doing okay. This is all I wanted to say, and, you know, remember to keep your spirits up because, you know, in these dark times, the only thing, well, not really dark times, I guess, but in these scarier moments, you know, the only thing you can really do, the best thing you can really do is to just keep your hope, keep your spirits up, you know, try to stay happy, try to calm those around you and try to make the best of a bad time. I mean, that's really all that you can do. Um, I've been spending my quarantine time um, watching movies and you know, spending every day with hubby, which has been really fun. Um, I spent two days with a couple friends, but that was before, you know, the whole lockdown thing really, I guess, came into effect hardcore. But either way, I mean, it's not like I have cabin fever or anything, because, you know, when I was unemployed for like three months, I basically spent most of my time here in the house, unless it was one of his days off. So, <sighs> You know, hopefully things do get better soon, and if not, we just gotta try to stay positive, try to keep our heads up, you know, try to, you know, keep those around you calm as well. And just take this day by day, see what happens, obviously, you know, be safe, be healthy, wash your hands, do the whole public distancing thing if you have been doing it. I mean, I'm not exactly six feet away from hubby right now. <laughs> But just be safe and be healthy and be careful, please. Now, on to happier subjects. Well, not really happy, but different subjects just to try and keep everyone's mind off of things. So where have I been? <laughs> Last I posted was over a month ago. It was like a month and 11 days ago. And I remember that because I looked at the date and then I'm looking at today's date. <laughs> it's been a month and 11 days since I've really posted something that was supposed to come from the channel like obviously you guys have seen the the electric machine video if you haven't go look at it and then uh the other one was the food and wine festival which I'm so glad I got to do it before Disneyland closed their doors but where have I been so the last time I uploaded was February 10th and I just kind of want to give an explanation of why I haven't been here. So as you guys know, I had my orientation uh, at my work on the 7th and the 9th. Well, I had my first week of training the week of the 10th, which is why I didn't upload because I think three of those days I was working and I didn't know exactly how I wanted to go about doing the channel in terms of my work and I was really waiting to get a set schedule from my work that way I could plan out what days I wanted to film and what days would be spent with hubby and Harley baby and you know my little family well after that week I was supposed to start my actual train I was about to start a second part of my training well unfortunately that's the 17th, and I remember that specifically for rated R reasons, <laughs> I got sick. Oh, no, no, I got sick, I think, the 24th. Was it the 17th or the 24th? I mean, no, it was the 24th, because I remember calling my work to reschedule my training, and they were like, okay, well, you have to, um, like, you, you'd have to come in a week later. I was like, oh my god, okay. So from the 11th to the 22nd, I was doing my first half of my training, and everything was crazy. 
everything was just all over the place and I didn't really know what was going on. So I took the two weeks off after the 17th to relax and to get better because I was coughing, sneezing, and it was horrible, absolutely terrible. And then I had the rest of my training um, just finished last week, actually. Um, I had it the, oh, I did my first day of training, I think on the 22nd, and I was supposed to go back the 23rd, 24th, but instead I went back the 8th, the 9th, and my first shift on my own was the 13th, no, no, the 12th, the 12th, was the 12th, and then that's when the whole, you know, jobs are shutting down, stay home happened on the 13th, and, um, I didn't know if I really wanted to record anything for this channel during the quarantine, but my nerves started getting crazy, and I mean, on top of that, I, I actually had to go to the doctor last week because for like the past two weeks before that, I had been suffering from hip pain. Like, it, the first week wasn't so bad, it just felt like I had pulled a muscle, so, you know, I'm thinking just ice it, um, heat it you know, do something just to calm the muscle down, and then the week after, it became like a sharp pain, like someone was like driving their elbow into me, so I had to go to the doctor, and on that day, um, it was funny, because the doctor was like, you know, like, I like, they, they kind of push down on some areas to like, make sure like, nothing was out of the ordinary or anything like that, well, this guy was like, driving his fist into my sides and like he, he he was checking my gallbladder to make sure that like I didn't have gallstones which would have been an entirely different problem so anyway um so he shut down no gallstones thankfully he didn't feel anything but with this total shit eating grin on his face he looked at me and he was like have you ever had ovarian cysts I was like no and he just kept kept looking at me with that shit eating grin I was like, you're kidding me. So we did a pelvic x-ray to make sure like I didn't fracture anything, which thankfully I didn't. So then of course my nerves were like further up than they probably should have been. And so I had to get um, a vaginal ultrasound. If you don't want to hear anything about this, you could just leave the video now or skip ahead until I'm done talking about it. Anyways, I had to get a, a vaginal ultrasound, which I don't know if any of my lady followers have had that before. Men, obviously, you don't need to worry about that. What it is, is they basically take a probe. It's like a long, thin plastic tube, and they lube it up, shove it up there, and it has a camera. You know, it searches around, make sure you're healthy, nothing's out of the ordinary. It's a pretty standard procedure, well not procedure, but pretty, it's a pretty standard thing, you know, my mom said she's had a few, but they had to, re they had to reschedule mine because the person who was supposed to do my ultrasound was booked solid, and I had to wait a week, a fucking week to get this ultrasound done, and in the meantime, all I had really to, the only thing that he gave me for the week was um, 600 milligrams of ibuprofen, he gave me like 90 tablets, I'm like, what are you expecting me to do with 90 tablets? He said, well, th since your pain is so high, you know, I want you to take three a day with food. I was like, okay. I haven't. <laughs> I I'll be honest. I was supposed to get the pills that day, and I couldn't because I wanted to get home because I had left after one of my shifts. So I wanted to get home and just relax because I was like, fuck this. I don't want ovarian cysts. So, for like that whole week, I first of all got my pills late. My mom was actually nice enough to pick up my pills that Saturday. When, and I went to go get them that the Thursday after, Wednesday after, one of the two. I think it was the Thursday after. I went to go get them and they didn't even have them. I was like, what do you mean you guys don't have them? My doctor sent them over. But, you know, technology. It's a pain in the ass. But anyway, so my mom was nice enough to pick them up Saturday because on, oh no, she picked them up Sunday, because Saturday, you know, despite the, the lockdown, 
we went to my Nana's 75th birthday party that had like 50 people there. <laughs> and we were all like shaking elbows and some, some of us were brave enough to like hug and like fist bump and stuff like that. But <clears throat> and beside the point, I've been taking some pills. Um, it's been getting easier, but I just went in um, a few days ago to get the ultrasound. And from when she took like the outer ultrasound, like um, a little bit below my stomach, she said she couldn't see anything. But it's kind of different when it's internal because you can get a better view. Um, I was told that if I had them, that I'd have to go to my primary care physician and figure out what to do from there. But if I don't, it's most likely I pulled a muscle some way, somehow, and I just need to get physical therapy for it, for it, which I've gone through before. I actually had to have physical therapy on my ass before. Um, if you guys want to hear that story, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to tell you that story. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, that's why I haven't been here. I've just been sick, focusing on work, trying to get through all this craziness, and it hasn't been fun, but I'm back now. Um, I will, I, I don't think I'll do it, yeah, I'm going to do a brief channel update to explain what's going to be going on in terms of the channel itself, I know I've done a lot of those, <laughs> and I think the reason why I did that is because I was still trying to figure out the channel in terms of what I wanted to do, so, you know, expect a lot, a lot of changes because I don't know, I still don't know what I'm doing with this channel, I'm just having fun posting videos for you guys, but anyway, um, I'll do a brief channel update. It probably won't even be like a minute long. I just want to explain to you guys what I'm going to try to do. And add some new playlists for you guys that I'm going to start adding on soon. But again, um, just to go back to what I was saying before, be safe, be careful, be healthy, take care of yourselves, and remember to keep your chin up because looking on the negative side isn't exactly going to help any of us. So just try to stay calm, everybody. Good luck. And if you guys need to talk about anything, if you guys have any questions or you would like a different type of video just to try and reassure you, or if you even want to chat with me, just tell me. I'll give you my Snapchat or, or something or whatever, but just let me know in the comments if you guys need anything. You know, I'll be here to try and calm you guys down, and I hope my videos can do that for you guys. I love you so much, little skeletons. Stay safe.